In this video, I will show you how to download Bootstrap files and use it in your projects. So just visit getbootstrap.com and click on this download button. Now you can read all the instructions here. We have different options. You can download compiled CSS and JavaScript files. You can also download all the source files. You can use Bootstrap CDN. In previous video, we learned how to use Bootstrap CDN files. Advanced developers can use package managers like NPM, RubyGems, Composer, Boar and others. We want to use compiled CSS and JavaScript files. I have already downloaded here and I have created a folder in my documents folder bootstrap4. Here you can see an index file JavaScript folder which contains bootstrap mini which contains three JavaScript files bootstrap, jQuery and popper.js. Under CSS folder, I have bootstrap.main.css file. But let me show you how you can start from scratch. I'm just going to delete this folder. I'm going to download this folder again. Now you need to unzip this folder. Open archive. And now you can see in this folder, we have JS and CSS folders which contains all the CSS and JavaScript files. I'm going to create a new folder, name it Bootstrap 4. Now extract these files in this new folder. Under CSS folder, we have so many different files. But we don't need all these files. We just need bootstrap.min file. So you can delete all other files. In JavaScript folder, we have two files, bootstrap and bootstrap.min. You can delete this bootstrap file. We don't need this file. Now I am going to open this folder in Sublime Text. Create a new file and save this file as index.html file. First, we need this CSS file. But remember, this is under CSS folder, so we also need this. And then we need JavaScript file. We need to add this just before the closing body tag. We also need two additional files, jQuery and popper.js, as we learned in the previous video. So you can just click on this link. And this will, this file will be opened in a new tab and you can save this file. Just click save as and now save this file in your 
bootstrap folder under javascript folder if you cannot find this link just type jquery in google go to downloads and you have different options download the compressed production or uncompressed you can download this here you can see downloaded file now you can copy this file and paste it here but we already have one file so I'm just going to delete other file we also need this proper .js file just open this link and save this file now you can see under javascript folder we have three files bootstrap jquery and popper dot main dot js i'm just going to copy this line copy the name of this file and add here copy this file again and now proper dot main dot js file let's make sure everything is working open this file in browser our text is aligned center and we have a custom font it means bootstrap is working fine if you will make any mistake let's change this name refresh your web page and styling has been gone so just make sure name of all files is correct now we can start using bootstrap to create websites that will look great on all type of screens 